This past Saturday, Greg Popovich picked the final roster for the 2019 USA men's basketball team. And thanks to Can I Get 1 Million Subscribers with two videos, they actually suggested that we take this team of USA basketball players and see if they could win an NBA championship. Just a reminder, until the 27th, you could use code SMEQUEL for 30% off at gfuel.com. But we're in NBA 2K19 right now, and we've actually created a team with all of the players on the 2019 USA team roster. So let's go, go over the team real quick right here. The team's not looking too good. It's definitely not as impressive as in years past, but we got Kemba Walker, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Chris Middleton, Miles Turner, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Harrison Barnes, Brooke Lopez, Derek White, Joe Harris, Mason Plumley, and then the rest are going to be zero overalls because on the roster, there's actually only 12 players. There's actually a bunch of Celtics players on this team. We got Kemba, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, and Jalen Brown. Uh, so that's pretty insane. This team is pretty impressive but it's not amazing leave your comment down below i also put a vote on the screen right now do you guys think this team will go 82 and 0 yes or no without further ado let's just hop right into this video we're just going to simulate through a season see how good the players do and see how good the team does as a whole all right so we made it to the end of the season we'll go over the awards we got Giannis mvp john morant gets rookie of the year surge six man Giannis defensive player, Nikola Jokic most improved, and Doc Rivers gets coach of the year. Uh, our team ends up going 42 and 40. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to make playoffs, but we will find out here. Nobody on any of the all NBA teams and defensive teams, nobody either. And then we got no rookies as well. So Team USA is going to get the seventh seed in the East. I did throw them in the east break here uh bucks 76ers and nets gonna be the top three teams these are the 2020 rosters with no injuries as well uh so team usa barely squeeze it in there to actually make playoffs this season uh, the west is looking really good you got the clippers up on top in the west uh but another thing i didn't check out yet was the all-star teams let's see if we do have anybody on these teams and it actually doesn't look like we have anybody on the team i thought kemba walker probably would have made it but he did not so our team isn't doing too too good let's go over to player stats here and kemba walker is our lead scorer but he's not doing too much 17.4 points per game uh nobody's doing really that good at all on our team uh, joe harris not even getting any minutes on the team either which is kind of surprising i mean i guess you do you got tatum harrison barnes rebounds per game led by mason plumley with 6.6 .6 assists 5.2 by kemba walker steals 1.7 our team is not looking too good at all um, i'm assuming they're going to be kind of in the middle uh, for things during the season if we go over to like three pointers made this is probably going to be near the top okay this is actually top 10 three pointers made uh three point percentage is top 10 as well so that's pretty impressive right there good pretty good three point shooting team rebounds per game is going to be the second worst in the team i mean there's not good centers on this team usa team you got miles turner i mean he's pretty good uh his overall is not crazy in this game you got brooke lopez who's on the downfall of his career. And then Mason Plumley, uh, who's not like crazy good or anything. Assists per game, 21st in the league. Steals per game is actually top five. Blocks per game, top five as well. So some categories doing good at the top of the league, but other categories not so hot. Let's see how they perform in the playoffs, though. Up against the second-seeded Philadelphia 76ers, and this is going to be a very, very tough game or series to win, should I say. They're down 2-1 right now. They do end up getting a game. They tie it up 2-2. Two to two. If they can get an upset here, that would be huge. 3-2 for Team USA. Can they pull through and win it here? And they do a 4-2 victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. The Hawks almost defeat the Nets. That would have been insane. 
And then you got Detroit beating out the Raptors and Milwaukee moving on as well. So huge upset in the first round. Uh, in the West, you got the teams you'd think would be at the top here. You got the Clippers, Lakers, Rockets, and the Warriors. Uh, kind of like the four powerhouse teams going into this NBA season. Well, let's see if Team USA can pull out another upset against the Brooklyn Nets. And it's not looking too good for them. There we go. They finally get a game right here. And they're down to 3-1. So here we go, game five, and Team USA gets absolutely destroyed. 130 to 80. And it just goes to show the Team USA roster this year is not that powerful. And they got a good chance at actually not even bringing home the W in this year's tournament. They might not even get that gold medal. I mean, losing to the Brooklyn Nets, an NBA team, when you're supposed to have the best teams in all of USA, they just couldn't get the players they wanted. Because, of course, most of these players on these NBA teams are from the U.S. They're of U.S. nationality. It's just they didn't want to play in this tournament. Some got injured. Uh, it's just a, a risk that lots of players aren't willing to take anymore. They can't even score here on offense. But Team USA right here, we're going to see a little bit of gameplay. Going to get absolutely mopped by the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, so we might as well just simulate the end here, though. Team USA not able to win an NBA championship. I'm not too surprised because the team's not too powerful this year. It's not too strong. And how does this happen? The Pistons lose to the Buck. That makes absolutely no sense. 2K. I don't know what you guys are doing there. Uh, we got the Lakers and Golden State actually defeats the Clippers in the West. Of course, the Nets get a 4-0 sweep. It's the Detroit Pistons and the Lakers are going to make the finals. And this probably won't happen next year. I mean, the Lakers could make it, but the Nets are probably not going to do too well without Kevin Durant. But they do have Durant in the game here. I don't know why I'm going game by game. It's a game number seven and the Lakers actually win the championship here. LeBron James with the finals MVP. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, of course, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my second channel and smash that like button. This has been your boy, Smeekle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I am me, tell him in the grave. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one loss, no one's around for you. I won't stop, no, no.